Hey everybody, welcome back. So today I have a meal prepping video. Um, there are so many things that I would like to get done today. I have this whole list right here of things I would like to get prepped. Um, it just, it makes my week so much easier when I have things ready to go, um, things I can just grab out of the fridge um, and just warm up and um, so we'll see how it goes. But today I would like to make granola. Um, I would like to make some of these almond oat blueberry muffins. Um, I'd like to get some sweet potatoes just um, cooked and put away for the fridge for just a quick side to grab for lunches, breakfast, dinners, whatever. Um, I want to get um, this broccoli apple salad all mixed up that way the dressing can just kind of um, sit and marinate and just make that delicious that's actually going to be a side um, with our dinner tonight um, I would like to make some breakfast burritos it's just such a quick easy um, breakfast uh, that we can just grab and go and I would like to make some homemade yogurt so I don't know if I'm going to get to all of this today, but I really hope so. Uh, so come along with me and let's get started prepping. So before I start meal prepping, I'm actually going to throw some dinner in the crock pot. So tonight we are just going to be having um, cold beef sandwiches. Um, so I just have a beef roast here that I'm just gonna throw in the crock pot. Um, it just, when I have something in the crock pot, like today, I'm gonna just be busy all day in the kitchen. Um, it's just nice, that way I don't have to think about dinner. It's just kind of going on the side here, but um, to that, I'm just gonna add a whole onion that I just had sliced up. And then I'm gonna wash my hands because I'm gonna salt and pepper this. But yeah, I'm just gonna add some salt and pepper to this. And I am probably going to add about a cup of water. I just like to have a little bit of water in there. I know it'll make its own juices, but always just best to be on the safe side that's what I always think because I don't want it to burn and then I'm just going to turn it on low and let it go all day and dinner will be ready next we're just going to prep some granola I love to have homemade granola on hand it is so much healthier than the store-bought granola and it is so much cheaper like so much cheaper <laughs> Um, so this is a great recipe. You can add things that you like, you can take things that you don't like out, and you can really customize this yourself. So let's go ahead and get started. So first, you're going to just want to get some quick oats, and I am going to use three cups of quick oats here. And to that... I am going to add one cup of chopped nuts and you can use any chopped nuts that you like. I am going to be using some almonds. I have some almonds here. Um, I'm going to be using those. And you're going to want one cup of almonds. I didn't think that I had a whole cup so I did grab some walnuts and I'm just going to add a few walnuts to that just to make that whole cup. So. Add that to the bowl and then next you're just gonna want to add some cinnamon you're going I'm gonna do you're gonna want to do half of a tablespoon mine's gonna probably be a, a heaping tablespoon because I love cinnamon it tastes so good and then next I'm going to add, I have some shredded coconut here. I have a quarter cup of shredded coconut. I'm just going to add that to it. And I'm going to use that same quarter cup. And I am just going to add some maple syrup to this. Just for some sweetness. And 
And I have a half a cup of coconut oil here. Go ahead and add that. And then I'm just gonna do a couple just cracks of some salt here. And I'm just gonna mix that all together. So that way everything just kind of that syrup and that cinnamon and everything just get on all the oats and the nuts. And all you're gonna do is you're going to take a baking sheet. This is a very loved baking sheet, by the way. <laughs> and just put some parchment paper on it. And once you got everything mixed up and everything just kind of looks a little wet, you're gonna wanna go ahead and just dump that on to your baking sheet there. And just spread it around. And you're just going to want to put this in your oven at 300 degrees for 10 minutes and then just give it a good stir and bake it an additional 10 minutes. And that is it, you guys. I mean, that was so fast and you will have yourself a whole huge pan of granola. So this is an amazing recipe. It tastes amazing. I have all of those whole grains in there and some uh, nuts in there for some fat and fiber and I mean, delicious. Next, I'm just gonna be prepping some sweet potatoes here. Um, I already peeled the sweet potatoes. Um, I don't like the peeling on my sweet potatoes. I know a lot of people will just wash the outside of their sweet potato and then just chop it up with the skin on it, but I'm not a huge fan of the skin, so I always peel mine. Um, but I love to have sweet potatoes just roasted and ready to go in the fridge. They make for amazing sides. Um, I love to uh, just put some sweet potatoes, microwave them, and then like cook up an egg, kind of soft like a, with a runny yolk and then put it on top of the sweet potatoes. Oh, it's so delicious. And just an easy way to start your day off right, getting some veggie in there. So. chopped I'm going to go ahead and I am going to add some olive oil to these sweet potatoes and then I'm going to put salt and pepper them really well and I actually will probably salt and pepper them again once I get them onto the cookie sheet Once I got the salt and pepper on there, I'm gonna go ahead and give them a good stir and just mix that salt and pepper around. And then I'm gonna place it on my cookie sheet, which I lined with parchment paper. Um, I think parchment paper is one of the best inventions ever because it makes for easy cleanup. So I use it all the time. So I'm just gonna spread those out. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just salt and pepper these again. Just to make sure that I got some salt and pepper on everything here. And then into the oven, these are gonna go and they take about, I would say like 35 minutes to roast um, in the oven. And we will 
have these uh, later on in the week just to grab and go for our size for lunch, dinner, breakfast. So. Next, I'm gonna be prepping a broccoli salad. I'm so excited that the weather is getting warmer and that we are gonna to start to get to enjoy all of the more summer foods. And this next one I absolutely love. It is a broccoli salad. And I'm just gonna get started here. I'm gonna chop up this broccoli and then I will add some apples and raisins to it and then I make a dressing for it and it is absolutely so delicious. I'm so excited that the warm weather is coming and we're gonna get to just enjoy all of those yummy summer salads. So, and we're gonna have this one I think I already mentioned we're going to have this one tonight with um, the pulled beef sandwiches that we're having. To that broccoli, I am going to chop up two Honeycrisp apples. I'm going to chop them up pretty, you know, bite size. And then I'm just going to add some raisins. I'm probably going to add about like a quarter cup of raisins to this. Just sprinkle those in. And then we're going to just whip up the dressing. Hey guys, I was looking at the salad and I was like, it is missing something. What am I missing? And it's the red onion. So you're just going to want to get a small red onion. Um, green onions work fine as well, but you're just going to want to get a small onion and dice that up and toss it in there. So I'm actually probably going to, I don't know if I want to leave mine. Yeah, I'm going to dice it. I was wondering if I wanted to leave it sliced, but I'm going to dice it in small. So throw that in there and then next we will whip up our dressing. So what you're going to want for your dressing is you're going to want some olive oil and you're going to want a quarter cup of olive oil. And then to that I am going to add an eighth of a cup. I'm just going to use this quarter of a cup and do half. And I'm going to use this apple cider vinegar here. Mm -hmm. 
And then I'm gonna add about just a teaspoon of some onion powder. And then I'm gonna add a tablespoon of maple syrup. Just needs that little bit of sweetness to it. And then I am gonna just add some salt and pepper. So, we have a little bit of salt in there and some pepper. And I'm gonna just put the lid on this and give it a good shake. gonna dump that all on there. And then I'm gonna just stir it up. I'm gonna try to use this uh, tablespoon so I don't have to dirty another another spoon. But that's it. And this salad, you guys, is so good. It's such a good summertime salad. So I'm just gonna put a lid on this and I'm gonna let this sit um, in my fridge until dinner time and that's what we're gonna enjoy with our beef sandwiches. So it's gonna be good. So we're going to be prepping some almond oat blueberry muffins. These muffins are so delicious. They are a perfect go-to snack or if you need an on-the-go breakfast, just grab one of these muffins and a hard-boiled egg and you are good to go. So I'll get you down here and I'll show you how these are made. So first what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want a cup of oat flour. So I just make my own oat flour. All I do is I just put some oatmeal in my blender cup here and blend it up and I have oat flour. So I have a cup of oat flour and to that, I am going to want to add one cup of almond flour. Toss that in there. And I am going to to that, add a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and three quarter teaspoon of baking soda. And then just kind of mix all that around so it's all combined. And then in this bowl over here, I'm going to add my wet ingredients. So I just have a couple eggs here. So you want two eggs. You're going to want one teaspoon of vanilla. And I'm going to use this quarter of a teaspoon because I don't want to do any more dishes. And if a few extra drops get in there, I am okay with that. Um, more vanilla, the better, in my opinion. So, And I'm going to add half a cup. I'm just going to use this almond flour. You can use whatever kind of milk that you have on hand. You can use regular milk, oat milk, but just a half a cup. So this measuring spoon is really nice because it has like the slots for everything, quarter cup, half cup, three quarter cup. So that's really nice. And to that, I am going to add one tablespoon of olive oil. This is a half a tablespoon, so I'm just gonna put two of those in. And then I am going to add one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. And 
And again, this is a half a teaspoon, so I am just adding two of them. And then I am going to add half a cup of maple syrup here. And then I am just going to stir that all, break those eggs, and just mix all of those together. And then I'm just gonna add these wet ingredients to the dry ingredients and stir that. And once all of this is all incorporated, let's give it a good stir. I'm going to add one cup of blueberries to this. blueberries here. I'm just going to add one cup of blueberries. I've got a few extra than a cup, but that'll be all right. And we'll go ahead and stir those in. And then I am just going to put those in to this, into my muffin pans here. Muffin cups. I have a silicone muffin pan, so they like come out really easily. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and distribute those. And then these just go in the oven um, at 350 degrees for like 18 to 25 minutes, just depending on how your oven cooks. go breakfast. I mean, even a lunch, really. Um, if you need a quick lunch, just grab one of these, throw it in the microwave, and you're good to go. But I already started browning up the sausage here, and when the sausage is about half browned, that's when I like to add my eggs because then it finishes cooking. It just makes everything faster. So I have 18 eggs here, so I'm going to go ahead and I am going to add all of these eggs into the pan here. tortilla shell laying on some foil here and I'm going to just use this measuring spoon and I'm going to scoop up some of this egg and sausage mix and just put it on the tortilla and then I'm going to just 
sprinkle some sharp cheese on it and roll it up and it'll be good to go in the freezer. So that's it. This is the hardest part, wrapping, like folding the tortilla. I always want to add too much of the filling because it, that's the part that uh, just, I like more of, I guess. And so that is the tricky part right there. Just getting it all to stay in, but that's it. So lastly, I'm just going to make some homemade yogurt. I like to make fermented homemade yogurt. Um, I usually ferment my yogurt for about 24 hours. And when you ferment your yogurt, basically what you're doing is you're breaking down the lactose. The lactose is what is very hard for your body to digest. And so after you ferment, your yogurt for 24 hours there's basically no lactose in it and you're just left with an amazing probiotic yogurt when you do make your own yogurt you do need to use a starter culture um, a lot of times I just use whatever like last week's yogurt as a, st as a starter culture um, but I don't have any left, we ate it all. So um, you want to just find a yogurt that is just yogurt and that, see how it says, um, where is it? Right down here, it says live and active cultures. You're gonna want a yogurt that is just a plain yogurt that has those live and active cultures in it. Um, so I just have a gallon of milk here I'm just going to shake it up to get all that cream. The cream likes to rise to the top. So just try to get all that cream throughout it because it likes to stick on the top. But I can, oh, I splashed a little bit. It's a messy process. But I'm just going to go ahead and I, I'm just putting this in this cast iron pot here. And I'm going to turn it on. And I'm just going to want to bring this milk up to a temperature between 110 and 115. So it's going to take a few minutes, um, but it doesn't take too long. So I'll see you when we get to the temperature. Okay, so it's looking like our yogurt is up to temperature. Um, I'm at 114, it was 114.4, but I'm just going to take it off of my heat here because I don't want it to get any higher than that. And I'm just going to, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a half a cup of that yogurt. And just put it in here. And then I'm just going to take this spoon I have here and just kind of move it around, make sure that there's no clumps, it all dissolves. And once there's no clumps and all of that yogurt dissolves, I am going to just stick this, I'm going to put the lid on and stick it in my oven here. I have the light on in my oven. And this is a cast iron pan, so it will keep this warm. Sometimes I do wrap a towel around it, um, just kind of as a little more insulation, um, just to ensure that it stays up to temperature. But with it being warmer outside, I'm sure it's gonna stay up to temperature in the oven here. So I'm just gonna transfer that in and put it back by that light and that's it. It's super easy. And there we have it guys, that is everything. So we just have these delicious muffins, which I'm gonna enjoy here in just a minute with a cup of coffee and our amazing homemade granola. 
I got a ton of burritos um, for the week and this beautiful salad that we're going to enjoy. I got some sweet potatoes all done, roasted up, and then I just had a few eggs and sausage that I ran out of burritos. And the yogurt is in the oven fermenting, so we got everything accomplished for the day. I did it. I got everything done that I wanted to today. Um, thank you so much for spending the day with me and meal prepping. Um, I hope you guys are doing good and I will see you in the next video.